Hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today, we're finally going to be racing the NASCAR Next Gen Cars in NASCAR Heat 5. So, this video was planned to come out yesterday, but you know, they had all the issues with the NASCAR Heat 5 stuff for the Xbox, so we planned it out for today. Just wrapped up the stream, did 8 races, very fun races, and we're going to go going through everything you can do with the Next Gen Cars in NASCAR E5 with a brand new update for the 2022 season. So going over the main menu here, you have to make a new profile for the next gen, but you can go back in your 2020 profile later. And so you got your start my career thing over here. Race now gives you all your stats for your next gen stuff. Race modes, we'll go into some of the stuff that's in there. It's got online multiplayer, my driver. For some reason, I think they forgot to add this. There is a custom car feature, because if you go into race now, it shows you a custom car, but there's no custom car feature to actually customize it. So I don't know what's up with that. So we're going to have to go look into that later. So I don't know what's up with that. So we're going to have to go and see if we can if they can fix that. So let's go over to race modes. And so you got test session. You can still do that. So if you click on test session, you got the NASCAR Cup cars here. You can test them all out. We're going to be, oh, okay. We're not going to talk about him. You got the championship mode and then split screen. So it's still, still same stuff. I might be doing a championship season with the next gen cars. We'll see. And they got rid of some of the tracks, unfortunately. Added Bristol Dirt, though, which is nice. So I don't know why they get rid of the tracks. But... They don't have any of the other tracks except Bristol Dirt. They don't even have New Atlanta, so I don't know why they don't have that stuff. So we're going to go into here, look at some of the drivers. So Martin Trex Jr., obviously, you got you got Daniel Suarez, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Garrett Smithley in the 15. I'm happy he's here. You got Tyler Reddick. You got David Rigg in the 15, so a bunch of 15 drivers. You also got Ryan Priest in the 15. You got BJ McLeod, Michael McDowell, Joey Logano, Kyle Larson, Corey LaJoy, Brad Kislowski, Eric Jones, Timmy Hill, we got him. You got Loris Hesemans, uh, you got Daniel Hemrick, you got Kevin Harvick, you got Denny Hamlin, Justin Haley, Noel Gregson, Todd Gilliland, Chase Elliott, uh, there's Ty Dillon, you got Austin Dillon is there as well, Cole Custer, Austin Sindrick, Ross Chastain, Landon Castle in the 77, happy to see him, William Byron, Kyle Busch, Kurt Busch, um, then you got Harrison Burton, the rookie for the 2022 season, and then obviously Ty Dillon was another, you got Chris Buescher, Chase Briscoe, Alex Bowman, Brian Blaney, Josh Balicki. They have a bunch of different drivers for every car. You even got Greg Biffle in the game, which is cool. Chris Bell. You got Eric Amarola, AJ Allmendinger, and then there's the custom car. Which I don't know what's up with that because you can see right here it says the custom car, but it don't have anything. And then Kaz Grala. So I don't know why Kaz Grala is listed in a different category. And then you got JJ Yelly. Uh, why do we have still? I don't know why they put him in the game. Why? Why motorsports games? Why? And then Bubble Walls. So that is everybody. We're going to be racing as Truex for all this. We're going to be doing some test races. But let's go straight over to Martinsville just to see. Actually, no, we're going to go straight over to Daytona real quick. We're going to see how, how some Daytona um, works for a really quick race for the pack and the Super Speedo with the AI and everything like that. So let's go to Daytona. After that, we'll do Martinsville. Here we go. No practice, no qualifying. Straight into the race event. So you can see how it's still the same here. Todd Gilliland is slow. William Byron is fast for some reason. The engine sounds are a little weird, I don't know, and Brad K is on the pole, so, uh, cars look pretty decent, uh, they look, they, I don't know, they look a little modded, though, so, I don't know, they kind of look like the mod, but they definitely drive a lot different, obviously, than the mod, that mods don't drive any different than Gen 6 cars, so, the first race with the Gen 7s on the channel with video form is underway, up to the gears, these cars sound awesome, I love the sound of these, so, it's got five gears as well, we're gonna see, I never raced with the AI, so, we're gonna see how this goes, pushing Loris Hesman's often to the front, immediately and a great draft here on the high side up in the fifth gear that's your brand new nascar fifth gear okay uh thank you thank you ai appreciated that one okay they just let me all all out dry so hopefully we can get this draft back here so the cars are not as fast at daytona and talladega but i think every other racetrack about, about the same speed so here we go down the back straight away we go big run here coming to todd gillen's rear bumper as he's going to try to make a block i really got to get it by him Going, only got eight laps to do this here. So I'm going to try to give everybody... Oh, that's the apron. Okay. So I'm really slowing my car down. I don't like how slow the momentum is. I really wish there's a lot more momentum like the 2020 cars. And lap one is complete here at Daytona. We're only at the 39th though, so we're going to have to try to be aggressive here. Drafting here. Oh, we're going pretty fast. on Almost up to 200 miles an hour. Pushing JJ Illy. I mean, we probably need more time to get up there. I only made the straight eight laps, and so there's no, not even any cautions on. So if we wreck, we're kind of done. Oh, JJ. Okay, he, he really just checked up in front of me. All right, get this draft down the back straightaway. Big drafts coming. We're, we're pushing this NBA Motorsports car to the lead. Look at this draft. The AI don't even care. They're moving out of the way from us. 
look at this speed we got. Oh, and then Kyle Larson screwed it all up. Oh, God. All right, the 38th is going to get to my rear bumper. We're going to try to get here. I want to see the damage model, but not right now. We're, we're going to test that out later. So far, the AI seem pretty decent. Oh, that's a big push. All right, the, the AI love to push you. They love to push you hard at Daytona. So, Ty Dillon lost a lot of momentum on the high side. Going to get down to, to here. We're on lap three of the race. We're up to 25th. Okay, Larson is just slowing me up. He's annoying. Go away. All right, thank you. Move out of the way. So we're going to get this big run down. The, where's my draft game? I'm in the draft, and it just it just disappeared for a second. I don't know what that was up all about, but we're going to get down here. Trying to draft a Cole Custer. Maybe Landon Gas is going to drop him low. No, he won't. He's going to give us that room. Uh, definitely, the cars are definitely slower. Oh, jeez. I, I want to try to turn one of the AI, see what happens, but I don't really want to risk myself. Larson probably finally being useful. So here we go. He's going to push us to a rear bumper of Cole Custer. Get that run almost to the rear bumper. Oh, he pushes us up. Okay, can we able to hang on to that? Oh, my God. That was close. All right, we're going to pull up the Cole Custer here. Michael McDowell, three wide. And now we're going to get a run. Custer through the middle of the racetrack. The wheels kind of look kind of weird when they're turning. I don't know what's up with that. I'm trying to get up inside the top 20 right now. I'm not going to leave any room for Larson to get there. Amarola is going to go down, almost making that back block. Not going to be able to do anything yet. Still in this bottom. Up, up inside the top 15 already. Come basically back, back to halfway. As, yeah. Coming to halfway this time by. Larson to our rear bumper. Four laps remain at Daytona. And now we have really driven our way through the field. This bottom lane is going places. So up inside the top 10, look at this draft we've got here. Going with some of our teammates, Kyle Busch and Christopher Bell. And Alex Bowman has the race lead right now. So, oh gosh. Oops, got Bell really loose. Okay. Oh, Larson's going to try to do something on the high side. Oh, he's got that run. I got no, come on, I need help. Almarola, big bro. Oh my God, that's heck of a push. I got Almarola. I need my better draft here. And your cars are trying to get form a little line. William Byron, then a three car breakaway for the Hendrick cars. Will Elliott do anything with them? Yes, almost. They're trying to. The, this is kind of cool. The teammates are working together. Just like real. Look, look at this. They just formed a, a little draft here with the Hendrick cars. Oh my god, Larson. Oh jeez, that was close. He almost well, goes around but barely saves it. We have, we're in a sketchy spot here. I do not like it here. We're three wide in the middle. Oh my god. Trying to hang on to it. Look at this push Cindric is giving us. This is a heck of a push. Thank you, Austin Center. Get Cody Ware out of here. Idiot. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. You're an idiot. All right. Look at this. Trying to break up this Hendrick cars. We got a big run to Chase Elliott. Trying to get there. Oh, we're going to go 3 1 middle, baby. Oh, my God. Coming back to two laps to go. At Daytona Larson. I'm in between a Hendrick sandwich right now. Come on. Let's get down there. Got to get down to somewhere. Hey, oh god, I'm getting, I need to get down. Larson, you're, you've not helped me all race. You've been annoying. You've just been in the way. Come on. Two laps to go. I gotta do something with Almirola here. I gotta get to this bottom. We are pushing the heck out of him. I have no room on the bottom, though. We're trying to get clear to Bowman, but it's still not clear. I think Almirola is just about clear. Has not cleared himself, though. Come on, we got two laps remain here. We gotta go now. Oh, where do we go? Larson, he's giving us the shove. We got the run, the high side, going three wide middle. Look at this move! Out of the AI, the AI don't really care right now. But Larson to the front with us. And now we are leading. Come back to the white flag this time by. What a run to the race lead it has been. Oh, we're on the apron. No, don't do that. Oh, God. Come on. Come to the white. I really wish it was the checkered because we wouldn't want to have the race run. Bowman looking under his teammate Larson. And your cars are really running well. Final lap at Daytona. Here comes the 48. Oh, Larson's got to run on the high side. Now Bowman. We have to make that block. It was late, but we're still able to do it. Come on. Let's hang on to this thing. I cannot lose this race. There's no way I can lose my first ever AI race with Na NASCAR E5 with the next-gen cars. Down the back for the final time. Well, oh, Larson has a huge run. we got to make the block. There's no guy. I turned him to the wall. Oh, God. The 14. Chips, race Briscoe. Okay. We're still clear somehow. Briscoe now looking under us. Okay. Final time down the back. Risco with a big run. Bowman's having a bigger run. Oh, he almost gets there. Final time through the trial. Oh, Briscoe's got to run. That's the drop low on Bowman to the checkered flag. We come. We're going to be able to hang on and win the race. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, that was some race. Incredible. I think we can do burnout, too. Burnout? Yeah, there we go. Next-gen burnout. Let's see how this goes. 
First ever next generation burnout. Burn down at number 19. It's a little stuck, okay. Nice job. There we go, burning it down at Daytona. Doing the slide across the grass. As Daytona went, that was some finish. That was incredible, that was an incredible race. Incredible stuff here to wrap up our first race at Daytona. I do want to test some of the damage model stuff soon, so. But we are winners from the World Center of Racing. Fans seem to love it, and we have one from Daytona. There we go, as Daytona 500 winners with the next-gen car, Martin Truex Jr. This is what it should have looked like about five times the victory lane at Daytona for Truex. The crew are a little different also. Just realized that. Or I forgot to take off his helmet. Truex, why? Okay, so the next little race we're going to do is something everybody probably wants to see. Bristol Dirt... Long track? Okay, sure. Sure, NASCAR E5. It's a very long track. Yet again, we'll start in the back. Is here is Bristol. AI are look a little weird here. I don't know what's up with this. Okay. Oh my God. Are you gonna go or what? Okay. Good job, AI. Nice job. Up the fifth gear. Right. Really? Okay. Oh my God. All right. All right. My car is a little damaged. Is ready. Okay. Let's come down in here. The frame rate looks a little weird. I don't know why. LaJoy is all the way up the racetrack. Try to. The frame rate is really weird. I don't know what's up with this. Okay, come on, let's get the- OH MY GOD! The AI just killed him so- oh. <laughs> Goodbye AI, okay. That was- that was interesting. Nine laps to go. The AI are just... crazy. Up P21 already. Okay, my car is dying. Nice job, AI. For the wrecking themselves! The 45 oh my god! What are we doing, you idiots? What is going on? Bowman, go somewhere. Eight laps to go, okay. Wow, wow, this- this is some- Talent show by the AI. Incredible. Oh, jeez. The AI are just getting so loose. I don't know what they're doing. And I've never seen the AI. Look at Ryan Blaney. He's so loose. Oh, there they go. There goes JJ Ely. Oh, it's a big wreck. Oh, my God. Oh, there the car's killed. Thank you, JJ Ely. All right, we're in the top 10, though. We gained spots on that somehow. And the car is now destroyed. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Okay, made it through that one. I, I want to see the AI make mistakes, but... Not every lap, because that they're wrecking every single lap. There's going to be cautions every lap. You, have to, you can't put on strict cautions. And I, I just wrecked myself. That's just talking about the AI wrecking themselves. Can Cindric wreck himself? Because he's leading the race, and I, I'm fourth. I hope that... Uh, can the top three wreck himself, please? Because everyone else seems to be wrecking themselves. Two laps to go right now, and right now... Oh, God. The teammates are running themselves in the wall. Okay, we're looking for a podium here. P3. We got a big group of cars over here. Just acting stupid. The SHR, Custer's just being a menace. Okay, final lap, up the P3. Larson is 33rd. Very great dirt racer, showing him his skills. Lar oh, you dumb game! Are you serious? Oh my god. You know what? Oh, this game sucks. Well, that just sucks. Lost all of our track position. Where are we now? Can I, can I go? I'm 25th. Oh, this game. Todd Gillen is just drifting to the finish line. Now I'm 30th. Thanks, game. I was going to finish almost P2. I probably would have finished P2. But no, one slip up, and I finished 30th. All right, we're going to do one final race, and we might as well make it the Martinsville night race. So let's see how this one goes. The final race of the day. I would have done like a mile and a half, but we'll probably do that in some other live streams videos. So let's go racing at Martinsville. This is going to be cool with the shifting. We're just going to do some practice first, just because I want to test a few things. One being the updated pit stops, and another being the damage models. So... We're gonna just send it down in the turn one. Try to get it loose and go. Okay, all right. Just go hard on the wall. Or not. Okay. All right. That was a bad attempt at that. You can look at the back. It actually looks good. I like the damage in the back. Okay, so damage model. I don't know why. I hit the side of the car. I don't know why it's damaged the back. Let's see what happens if we go backwards. I want to hit someone. Destroy the front end. Oh no! Not like that. Okay. Look at that. You can see the underbody. Okay. Landing on a roof, does that give us any damage? Not, uh, not really. Alright, uh, let's go slowly into somebody. Yeah, just like that, it's perfect. Okay, let's check it out. It doesn't look too bad, I mean, uh, it actually looks pretty okay. It's not the greatest, it won't be the greatest, I'm not expecting the greatest ever, it's not gonna be like eye racing damage model. So yeah, damage model looks pretty decent, but let's go test out these pit stops. So let's test this one out real quick, let's see how good these pit stops actually look. So they're supposed to be updated. <clears throat> so let's see. Alright. Oh. 
All right, single lug nut wheel, obviously. Updated pit stops, as you can see. He's a little slow. Okay, you guys are a little slow. Why is he like crawling? This guy, okay. They look, they look okay. I mean, interesting, very interesting. The pit guys are also updated. They actually look more realistic, so. I'm happy they updated a lot of stuff. All right, here we go, another last, the first challenge in NASCAR E5, this time at Martinsville. I gotta get used to the shifting green flag. Oh, that's a quick start, all right. So we're gonna see how this all goes. First time down in the turn one, up from that fifth gear, you're gonna down shift down in the fourth. I don't know why you don't use third. You're gonna have to use third down here. Okay. I think, uh, do you use third? I, I don't know. We're gonna go down into here. Just try to just down the chip in the fourth. I don't think I can, no, I gotta go down in third for here. Pushing Garrett Smithley, if, if, if it was like a clean racetrack, I might be able to use just fourth and fifth. You can see you're gonna downshift again, go down in the third, driving through everybody. I love downshifting in this game though. This feels really cool. So we're down in the fourth. Okay, coming down, we got 20 laps to do. We're just gonna do a few laps here, just testing all this out the fifth gear. Okay, I think we can just run in fourth. Let's see, you come out of the corner. Yeah, it seems like you can just run in fourth, so that is a good thing. To th no, I was running in third for some of the online races, so pushing through Ross Chastain here, trying to get to the front of the field. There's Ryan Blaney. Make a three-wide aggressive move down on the bottom, trying to get more spots. As yeah, we can... This, I feel like this racing is going to be a little better than the real Martinsville racing with um, NASCAR. I just got set four wide. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. There goes Trackhouse by me. It's weird seeing Trackhouse cars in NASCAR Heat 5. That makes no sense, but still kind of cool. We get to the rear bumper. We're going to try to move some people out of the way. I'm not really... I probably should have done some qualifying so I could actually start up front. But we're now we're up the... Uh, I, I just thought there was an extra gear for some reason. I don't know what I was doing there. Down to the third now. Got it down to ship, so up ship the fourth. Now get in the fifth. It's really fun down ship. I don't... It's really cool. I just, I like want to do some laps later by myself, all by myself on uh, in test session. You can do that. Just practice downshifting. So down 14 laps to go down to the fourth gear there. They only use fourth and third gear here. So I don't know why I'm running fifth. I mean, Chastain used fifth gear to wall ride, but that's Ross Chastain things. As I say that, I just ruined Ross Chastain's race and I turned him. Okay. My, my front of my car is a little ruined too. So here we go. We're going to pass Michael McDowell. Almost, maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. No, he's not clear. He's clear of us. But it's definitely really cool being able to downshift and drive these guys. I Downshifting makes Martin's a lot more fun, in my opinion. So, I, I mean, I love, love the short track downshifting thing. So, we've got some clear track ahead of us. Let's see what we're doing down here. Let's, I'm not going to talk for a lap. See what we can do. Also use third gear. Oh, I really messed up that lap. That was not a good lap at all. As I got passed. Oh, I wrecked it. Okay, get out of this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, car's killed now. I can't get out of here. And now I'm just completely stuck on this thing. And that's basically just gonna wrap this video. So that is gonna wrap up for this first next gen video on the channel. So you saw all the things you can do with all these different drivers here as well. So very fun update. Can do a lot of the different things. Cars drive different. I love the shifting. So. Very great update. I mean, it took, you know, 10 months to actually come out. It was supposed to come out in August, but uh, that was first when it was rumored, and it was supposed to come out, I think, in October. And, yeah, it got delayed all the way till June, almost to July. So, but, yeah, finally happy. We finally got this on the channel. We might be doing some career mode stuff, might be doing some championship. We'll see. And that is going to wrap it up for your next-gen update. So, so happy we finally got this. Cars are great. And yeah, that's going to just do it for today's video. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.